I saw an um, interesting post the other day from a KG, um, oh, sorry, I mean a car driver, and they said um, there was something along the lines of why do motorcycles go on the left side like this? And why do they go on the right side like this? Why can't they just stay in the middle? Also, another interesting thing they said is why do motorcyclists go over the right line? So I thought I'd do a little uh, video slash explanation. Let me mansplain it. I don't mean to upset anyone. I'm a man and I'm explaining it. So I guess that means I'm mansplaining it. Um, of course, if I was a female, I would be womansplaining it. But if I was a them slash they, I would be them slash they explaining it. It's getting a bit complicated nowadays, isn't it, chaps and chapettes? This is why I just like to call people like, um, pal or, I don't know, bud or mate. Um, because those are gender inclusive for everyone. Uh, for now, let's wait until the next human update 3.0, where they would be offensive also. People that dress in different type of clothing. I'm dressing in different type of clothing to usual because I have my biker gear on. This makes me identify as a biker. No, but seriously, I don't care what you are, what you identify as. As long as you're having fun and you're not hurting anyone, who really cares, to be fair? But I went a bit off topic there. Let's get back onto the topic. What's the talking about? Lane positioning. Yes. Um, some people like different positions, I'm afraid. You may be a bit vanilla and like the one position, but some of us like a bit different to that. It sounds like a pretty fair post, to be fair. If you're not a motorcycle rider, I can see why you'd wonder why motorcyclists don't just stay in the middle. But there is a reason we do not. And that reason is potholes and dangers. See, pothole there, you just swerve around them. And that is for safety reasons why we don't just stay in the middle. Um, also, if other things present a danger, for example, you see a child run quickly, you want to go into P3 like that to swerve them or stuff like that. The roads aren't as easy as you think on a motorbike compared to a car. So next we're going to talk about the white line here. Why on earth do motorbikes go over the white line? Um, <laughs> from a car's point of view it makes no sense at all. But this is why I'm here to tell you why. It's simply because, well, there are two, well, there are two reasons why. One, there could be a presented danger in front of us. For example, someone in an I-10, I'm not uh, shaming I-10s in particular, mm -hmm. just observations. If you're in an I-10 and you're like, oh, quick, we're meant to turn here, this is ours. And you don't indicate or you indicate right as you're turning, but you stop really fast, that is an incredible danger for a motorcyclist because we could be on the road doing 40 for example here and if you're plane stopping i'm about you're meant to be about a bike um apart from traffic in front of you but i'm about two to three bikes i'm not going to shame any uh drivers in particular but it's normally people in the one to 1.4 litre cars um they sometimes aren't the safest to be around from experience so I'll stay quite a bit back but that's going off subject anyway so if they're going to stop really quickly in front of you um, you can emergency brake yes that is a good option or you could just swerve just slightly to make sure you're 100% safe so the other reason why is for filtering if you're amongst a lot of traffic and it is going incredibly slow and you have enough space to get in between that, that is 100% legal to do so. So I would recommend to do that as well. 